turnovers in the first six minutes, so you can't score if you're turning it over. So I thought we were sloppy, um, just, you know, kind of in mud to start the game. And, um, you know, credit to the guys. They turned it around, um, you know, played a lot of good basketball. I had a couple more probably stretches that could be better, but we just we came out in mud and, and really just turned the ball over, threw it to the other team and um, didn't execute. But the guys, uh, you know, they got it right. I think this is kind of a continuing series of games where Giannis all of a sudden in the fourth quarter accounts for, I don't know, 15, 20 points in the first six minutes and you guys kind of put a team away. Just what does it say about him that he can have that presence or whatever it might be in the fourth? Yeah, no, I mean, he's, you know, I think he's picking his spots, you know, well. I think, you know, guys are playing well around him and, um, you know, he gets to a point where, you know, I think, uh, you know, he's getting to some – some good situations. He's playing strong. You know, he's making some jump shots, making some threes, making free throws. He's doing a little bit of everything. So, um, you know, and I think there's a, a little bit of, you know, he's coming at you the whole game at some point, you know, um, you know, we're hopeful that the, that the dam will break and, and he'll be able to break free and, and go on a run or the team will break free and go on a run just with his relentlessness throughout the game. Um, in this win streak, uh, you guys are, I think averaging 124 points a game. Um, and I know making shots obviously is a big part of that, but what have you maybe seen? Is there a thread between this half dozen games to show that this, to see the offense kind of explode like this? No, you know, I mean, I think, I think, you know, Drew and Giannis and, you know, Chris didn't, didn't play tonight, but, you know, those guys are setting the table. You know, I think, you know, those three are, you know, it's our leadership group and, uh, I think they're leading with their play. I think our best players are playing really well, and everybody's playing off of them. And, um, you know, you can go to, to different ones and different stretches. And, um, you know, so I think it's just, you know, it's, it's a credit to, to the whole group. But, you know, I think the way that Giannis, Chris, and Drew are playing is, you know, setting, setting the tone for everybody. Uh, tonight was your 400th win as a head coach. Um, pretty quick order as well I mean there's not too many guys who are still doing it currently that have at that number do you how do you take those, such things as they come and, and does it mean something new when you kind of hit these these milestones I mean you're just you're very very grateful you know um, to the players most importantly um, we have just an incredible group of guys in the locker room um, you know three plus years here and a lot of winning um, you know all the all the teams all the guys I've coached so very appreciative of them. And then the coaching staff, we were talking about it before the game, you know, roles and jobs and being ready to step up and just an amazing coaching staff. Uh, really appreciative of those guys. And front office, you know, John and those guys do an amazing job. So I couldn't be uh, more pleased to be a small part of this team and this organization. So, and it's, you know, it's uh, something that you, you should take a second and be appreciative of um, how fortunate, um, you know, in this case, I guess I am. What you saw from Jordan first game in about a week and uh, deliver the way he didn't shoot the way he did. Yeah, no, uh, you know, we had a good conversation with Jordan about how well he took, he had an uh, opportunity to play um, when we were banged up and, and the COVID and, and uh, health and safety protocol stuff. And, and he took advantage of that, that opportunity. And, and, you know, I said, you know, you got to be ready for the next time you get an opportunity. And that was tonight. And, and uh, he was ready and, um, he took advantage of it. So, you know, and, and Rodney, too. I think both those guys hadn't played the last couple of games when we're, you know, everybody's healthy. And uh, both Rodney and Jordan to be ready and, um, you know, to have that depth, uh, we're very fortunate. And with Dante, just wanted to rest that ankle or after a few games? Or? No, he twisted his ankle in, in warm-ups. Coach, I just wanted to ask about Grayson and his ability to knock down some shots. It's been a while since he hit multiple threes in a game. Yeah, no, you know, another guy that, you know, we we need him to kind of get free. And um, it was great to see him make some. And, um, you know, everybody's going to, you know, even the best shooters maybe have just, you know, mini slumps and things like that. So, um, but, you know, I liked him tonight, um, you know, and I, the, the pulling the trigger, he got some early threes, you know, deep and, you know, some kick out off offensive rebounds, letting it fly. So, you know, when he's open, we want him to, to really um, to feel confident and let it fly. So I thought he was really good tonight. 